Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a kind of a specialized multi-tool in the Skeletool line and this is the Skeletool RX. This multi-tool is going to be more for your for first responders and I really like this multi-tool a lot because first of all it comes in at a very attractive price at $80 for the retail price but you can regularly find this for about $65. Now this is not going to be your typical multi-tool that is going, you know, that you want to carry every day because the knife blade is probably not conducive for that. This is more specialized for our first responders and I really like this multi-tool a lot. Well let's get into the specs and then we'll talk about the tools that make this particular model unique. So the overall weight on the uh, Skeletal RX is going to come in at 5.14 ounces is what I get it at or about 146 grams so just a tick heavier than that of the regular Skeletool. At four and a quarter inches in length or 108 millimeters it's a pretty decent sized carry. 33 millimeters wide and that translates to one and five sixteenths. Five eighths of an inch thick or about 16 millimeters. So very very good overall size and fairly lightweight at 5.14 ounces it is really a, a very pocket friendly multi-tool. Now looking at the tool set on the Skeletal RX like with other Skeletal models it comes with an integrated pocket clip feature that I really really like about this model it, and it you know the styling on it, it it just in combination with all the curvature for the for this particular multi-tool just blends in really nicely has a carabiner for a, a separate carry option integrates the bottle cap lifter so you know while that's not something I would necessarily want my first responders doing on the job is cracking one open it does have that feature available now the knife blade is a 154 cm so a, a good quality knife blade on here and it is a fully serrated or mostly fully serrated it has a little bit of straight on the front but it is a very wicked looking blade and this is going to be you know for a rescue blade this is the type of knife that you will want to be able to cut through uh, you know like seat belts very very quickly without you know any effort whatsoever it's just like it's nothing this blade is extremely sharp extremely aggressive and coming in at 154 cm very good knife steel now when we get it opened up it has our bit exchanger. Now the bit exchanger on here is, is a little is unique to the RX. So on one side it's going to have a quarter inch blade. On the other side it's going to have a carbide glass break. That is actually really cool to have a carbide glass break. And especially it, it's deserving on a tool like this. It's 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 something that this particular tool needs. Then on board you have a separate number one Phillips, uh, number, a combination number one, number two Phillips, I apologize, and a 3 16 flat driver that go along with the Skeletool RX. The pliers on all Skeletool models are going to be roughly the same. Now I've compared these and I'll bring in the CS, uh, the Juice S2 again to, to kind of show you how these compare. And while they're pretty much the same size pliers, overall the Skeletool series of uh, pliers are actually a bit more robust and they're actually make for better cutters as well they're a little bit more uh, a little bit more robust overall so I really like the functionality of the pliers on this multi-tool comes with needle nose uh, regular pliers and then wire cutters and hard wire cutters now you have to work within the limitations of the multi-tool and this is a smaller frame more of a pocketable multi-tool so it's not going to have the same uh, level of, of usability as something like a rebar or a wave plus where they're going to have much more robust pliers on them so as long as you don't overuse it this is going to work really really great and in this particular tool it's the pliers are really not the main thing on this tool I think that knife blade and the carbide glass break really are what stands out to this tool now the RX comes in this bright orange as well and I really like the RX in combination 
with the Leatherman Raptor. I think these two in tandem make a an excellent combination of first responders tools. And if that was my line of work, if that's what I did, then these are probably the two that I would carry together because I get my knife blade, uh, then I you know I have the shears, I have more capability on the on the Raptor as well. So I think they really, really work well together. Now, talking about the most of the things on the RX, I really like a lot. There's actually only one kind of, I guess, kind of complaint or gripe that I have about the RX, and that's the fact I really think they should have made this bit. They should have made it in an extended length bit that would probably just have two notches where they could be able to flip it around and, and work in either fashion. And the reason I say that is because I would have liked to seen this carbide glass break sit outside the frame about a quarter of an inch so that you can, if you needed to use the glass break, you could use it like this in its closed position. As it is now, you really have to open it up and that allows you to get some length, but it just doesn't feel as strong in its open position as when the tool is closed has more you get more purchase on it like this now you won't be wanting to use a glass break without a set of gloves on anyway but I, it's really my only gripe about this uh, about this particular multi-tool that being said you know maybe that's nitpicking just a little bit now I think that this is definitely an a grade tool and it's definitely not for everybody because of that knife blade and the carbide glass break. Uh, but that is one wicked looking blade. It is really something. And I really like fully serrated blades or fully plain blade as opposed to combination blades. And for what this is built for, I, I just think that's a fantastic blade. And the fact that it's 154 CM and the price point that you can get it at, you can really pick this up all day long for $65. I think that is an excellent value, an excellent, excellent value. Overall, I definitely recommend the Skeletool RX for the people who need it, the people that are in uh, first response. So if you're a firefighter or EMT or, or a, even a police officer uh, or military for that matter, I definitely think this is a, a great, great multi-tool and it gets high marks from me. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib in my review of the Skeletool RX. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.